1994, Kim was financially free. And she was only 37 years old, and I was 47 years old. So people kept asking us, how did you guys do it? And so we told them we just played Monopoly in real life, but that didn't satisfy them. So by 1996, Kim and I developed the cash flow board game, as you see behind here. And many people say the cash flow board game is Monopoly on steroids. As I said, I, my financial education began when I was nine, playing Monopoly with my rich dad. So let me give you some of the opposites that found on the cash flow board game. This is one big opposite. In the middle of the game, you see this thing called the rat race? That's where most E's and S's wind up. They go to school, they get a job, or they become a doctor or a lawyer, and they wind up in that rat race, you know, working really hard, paying a lot of taxes, giving their money to the government, giving their money to Wall Street via their 401k or IRA, and they just spin that little rat race. But that's not what the rich do. So those on the B and the I side, they invest in what's called the fast track. Again, everything is opposite. You can either run your life inside the little rat race, or you can be a B and the I on the fast track. Everything is opposite. There are a number of other things that make the cash flow board game monopoly on steroids. One big reason is cash flow is the only game that encourages you to use debt to become rich. Now I know some of you are going, oh, I'm so afraid of debt. And you should be because you have to learn how to use it. Debt is dangerous if not well used. So cash flow actually encourages you to use debt, but this is the best thing. You use debt with play money. If you make a mistake, it's only play money. Try doing that in real life. You make a bad mistake with debt and you're wiped out. 